Okay, we just made that drawing real quick in that other video for the deep dye block. And now we're going to create an insert. We're going to revisit that drawing for sure. And we're going to create the insert for this form punch at this point in time. So just remember that we've got that dye block drawing out there. And again, it was out there. Uh, the minute, the second I put it into this assembly. Because we automatically create most of the drawings. Okay, offsetting this stuff, and now I'm going to chamfer it. all four corners and again I would make one of these chamfers different than the others normally but for the sake of time I'm not bothering okay so there's our sketch for the insert and now we use the logo press 3 add an insert command and you had seen this in a previous video. We'll make this one D2, no shim, automatically cuts that piece out of there, makes it a new piece, inserts it, mates it, and it asks us if we want to change the cut opening from what the insert is. And you always do, I think, for the most part. So we're going to use our automatic fillet. Can I get that? No, nope. sorry. Zoom back in here. And apply that. Super neat. So we made those, uh, the chamfers construction geometry. And... Let's edit that. Select tangency and offset that in one millimeter. And then we will fill it the top of it after we extrude it. needs to be exactly two millimeters because we also need to sink that bead at the bottom. Use our filters to show only the strip. And uh, I'm not going to do it this way, I think. Let's see, that's I'm pretty sure that that's a one millimeter radius as well. I was going to offset some surfaces there and cut with those surfaces but that doesn't make sense we'll do it the same as I did the outside here hide the strip and show the bottom start a sketch on there And I need to show the strip again. And select tangency as I did before. And offset. So that we can put the one millimeter radius on it. Okay. and hide the strip again and put our fillet on there one millimeter fillet on there and on there okay that insert is done and we 
probably eh, maybe not I was gonna say we'd we would put screws in to hold it down but eh, probably not just make it a press fit and then as we sharpen the die show the strip so sharpen the die the shims would just go around it okay now let's create a 3d form punch for this guy we'll pick our surfaces that we're that we will use for automating the creation of the form punch and this is uh, pretty neat punch body will go up against the punch retainer so we'll show the punch retainer flip that over and select the top and then when we sketch or hit the sketch icon zooms us normal to and show the upper and the middle and I need to enable selection through transparency select tangency we don't need to offset that we can just use that as the size for our punch or we could change it doesn't matter this note up here doesn't mean anything you can ignore it just part of the process and now we're ready to select see it, it sees the body that's crossing through these two solids so in the middle we'll put 30 thousands clearance in the upper we're just leaving it at zero press fit up there and there you can see the sketch coming in doing the cut extrudes on both of the two plates And if we tip that over and hide the strip assembly, very cool. There's our form punch. And we've got tools for putting f a bigger base on that if you want, etc. So let's go back to standard components. That's where we get our wire start holes and let's put some start holes in and remember that die block drawing that's still sitting out there in another window oops wrong pick I need to pick this one but actually I need to deselect this first sorry wrong picks there and then the other plates that that'll cross through and these will be in line so this obviously isn't going to be the location but they're going to be in line with all three of the plates so I'll just drop one start a point put a point here and there and hit OK and that adds our wire start holes okay so we go back to the die block and we get a message that it's changed yes we want to update the table and stretch that out a little bit and there are our swill we don't see our start holes but we see sketches are shown so we see the numbers for the start holes but no start holes hmm. shows them in the chart but again you can see that the whole chart updated actually let me look in the tree here maybe they got hidden somehow indeed the sketch is hidden now we can see our holes so we'll see you in a bit